All right, here's my Jed boy. He's now recovered from his dental. We have all his health details. He is a early um, renal uh, insufficiency or compromised kitty. So he is getting daily fluids right now um, until we get him feeling super happy and eating a, a bit better than he is right now. So. Um, and unfortunately, his biggest thing is needing to go home. Um, these cats that are so sensitive and, and sad and um, elderly really just need to get home. So we kind of keep them band-aided and keep them going until they, they can get home. This is a lovely cat. Very, very, um, you know, cuddly and snuggly. Loves to be held and kissed and smothered and smooched and all those good things fine with other cats, really no politics. Comes with um, his brother Yoda, who's a bit more worried and nervous about life in general. Um, uh, and, you know, they're ready to go when we have the right situation for them. I'm not worried about them integrating into a home of other cats. Um, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, what I am looking for is an adopter who can take on the the kidney issues that means you can do sub q fluids um, as needed you can pay attention to um, the cat's uh, health carefully and um, you know stand by them for you know the months year years that they have left it's hard to tell um, with these guys really um, a kidney diet would be ideal right now we're just working on them eating whatever they'd like um, and, you know, just lots of touching, brushing, and kissing is, is what, they, what they definitely need. So when we find those people, let's send these kitties home. They'll come with a nice um, treasure chest of goodies, um, their beds, and, and everything else that you need to get started with these kitties. Um, and like I said, um, I think any... Uh, cat situation pretty much is going to work for them. Um, it's more a matter of, uh, you know, having the loving adopter who, um, you know, can commit to these old guys.